Um, I am working with Rasta here. Um, I brought him to my house. I've been doing a training with him and um, unfortunately he's just kind of taken advantage of his novice owners. And so um, I, you know, normally I don't always bring dogs to my house for training, but he really needed um, to be um, here in our pack environment. So um, anyway, so I wanted to film us bringing him in and me kind of showing how I'm going to introduce him, which really isn't going to be anything particularly fancy. Um, you know, he's going to, he's going to be, um, you know, basically, you know, shown pretty quickly that he's um, not the top dog and um, especially and for gonna, and he's going to learn some respect. So um, follow us along. Kashmir's already angry. She's not even out. Yeah. <laughs> Come, 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 come. Very interesting. So he's not leash trained either yet. I should say that. There's... So I'm gonna I'm gonna carry him in just because I don't want him screaming and throwing a fit whenever I take him in there because that will um, not be good. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Back up. Come back. Get back. Get back. Now. I said get back. Come down. Blondie. Blondie's a bit hackled it. Oh. Oh, Cashmere. Cashmere, quick. Hmm? Yeah. Get him off the carpet. He's probably peeing. So, Cashmere, shut your mouth right now. Quiet down now. So, hey, I Reacher. Reacher is very excited. Oh, it's because you just got home. Yeah. He's missing you. Go away. So I don't want him on the carpet because he was doing some submissive peeing. Go away, preacher now. Go. Preacher's trying to get my attention. It's a bit tight. Shaking himself a bit. So as you can see, he's being very submissive right now. He's just sitting there, um, letting everyone smell him. <laughs> ah, no. Seneca's over here wanting to beat him up. He looks like Seneca. He does yeah. look like Seneca. Shh, quiet down. So, yeah, so he's being real submissive right now. Being um, being a pretty good dog. Preacher's too excited. Which I like. Well, he's excited to see him. Because he was really full of himself when we got him. Hey, get off. Quit. So there's Midnight trying to dominate, <clears throat> as usual. It's hard to recognize that she, that Midnight is still one of the alpha dogs until you see her uh, interaction with a new dog, because um, because you would think that because of her respect for, especially Blondie here, um, you would think that it would be Blondie sometimes that's the alpha. No, At she's... least you would in our everyday kind of watching them. But um, let me turn this light on. But it actually doesn't end up being that way. Um, it really is midnight that's on top. She's just, she's a really good alpha in the sense that she's um, typically not overly zealous in her corrections. So, which um, unlike Kashmir, Kashmir can be a bit of a tyrant. Um, so. Midnight's, uh, Preacher's just, nope, now he's growling, he's upset. He's just, Try. He's just communicating to him that he's the alpha here, well, really especially casual. because this is a male. So um, it's the first time we've had a male, another male in the house in a while. Mm -hmm. Ah, midnight. Midnight. She wants to dominate him, which is normal. I mean, they they want to show him this is their way of communicating to him that they're above him in this, that this is their role, you know what I mean? So everybody's kind of coming up and you can see everyone's role. Like for example, look who's off in the background here, Velocity. Velocity is kind of rotating on the, on the outside, um, you know, because she's lower on the pack. And so she's not as keen to want to come and introduce herself. And then you see here, we've got Blondie kind of over here and she's in between there. She's looking, but you know, she's, I'm not quite as involved as say Midnight here, who is really trying to communicate to this puppy that she's an alpha, she's over this dog. You will even see that Blondie's hackles are not raised. They were whenever she um, walked in, but yeah, then, well, any yeah. dogs, any dog would be when they first walked in. But this is more of a natural interaction. Then we have Preacher here, 
same thing, you know, he was all up on him. Cashmere was away, yeah, uh, really kind of, you see here, see communicating to him, you know, right. sitting over him and, um, you know, and being very dominant. So, preacher, <clears throat> come on, boy. So he's not trying to bite him. He's trying to correct him. It's a it's a mouth bite, which is really no different than what. And he the reason he's doing it is because this puppy is choking himself. He has a um, you know an excitable energy, and preacher's trying to like he would any puppy. He's trying to mouth bite and do a correction, which he does it to these puppies all the time. Um, and so that's what he's trying to do, is a correction. So what I want to do... She's the only one still watching. Yeah, Tennessee's. what I want to do is I want to go from this to... <clears throat> sit down. Um, to... Uh, I would like to take... Do we have a leash? I don't believe so. I think they're all in the truck. Alright. Let's go get a leash. Okay. I'm yeah. going to take Midnight... Yeah, Actually, you know what? Let's take Preacher. Preacher, come. Go up. Good boy. Come. Come on. Right. Stay. You guys stay. So as you can tell, still not not least trained, like I said. Come on. There we go. Good dog. I'll come out too. Yes. Very interested in the cats. Yep. Preacher, back over here. Yeah. Nope, we don't want that. Um, Peeing on a tree. Alright. So here's preacher. Come here. A collar. Okay. Sit. Preacher. Sit down. She is very excited. Who? Oh my gosh, this dog's clawing up preaching. Yeah, it's probably, um, I mean, midnight. You, uh, She's probably pissed, ticked off. Hey, come here, preacher now. <laughs> you almost. Oh, yes, preacher, come here. Sit. Good boy. Preacher, back over here. I don't know why I'm holding on to my keys. I'm making this harder than it has to be. Preacher, come here. Now, come here. Sit down, right now. He's like, Mom, it's been so long since we took a walk. And I'm technically not wearing shoes for it. I'm not either. I'm not actually wearing shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. We're not going to walk very far. We're just going to do, now that he's, now that he's in a different state of mind, the puppy, I want to do some leash training with him. He's very excited he's with preaching. submissive and excited. And so, I want to see if... If it will have an effect on his uh, on his training, mm -mm. so I'm gonna get my placement right. A lot of skin to bring down. Perfect. All right. Oh. Come on. Oh, puppy. Okay. What he's, doing he's not hurt. He's just nope. dramatic. Come on. Walk away from yeah, it's not very. Wait. Wait, let's turn that. Uh. Oh, no, we don't want to see that. Stage. Um, so, let's preacher come here. Oh, Good boy. itchy, itchy, itchy. And we'll make him sit too. Good boy. So, 
this puppy is going through um, this puppy is going through something that we call the fear stage and it usually happens around the four to six month old range sometimes it can happen um, both times it, around four and six months sometimes it's just around four months um, and it's they just really become very hyper aware Shh, be quiet they really become very hyper aware of everything that Um, they, be, they become very hyper aware of everything that's going on and um, and so that can lead to like overreactions of things that would normally not cause a problem for other dogs so um, you know so anyway so it complicates an already kind of complicated situation as far as um, as far as training is concerned so because he's already not really leash trained so he's in adding on to that that he's fearful is it you know it will create um it will overly complicate something however we can sit down now we can still do it um we just um you know we just and i'll tell you he's you're a resty but i have not taken him on a walk in so long he hasn't even been out so in a while <laughs> seriously i feel horrible um so anyway so let's continue this walk and um and like i said his his, his Success for us with him right now is him just walking next to me on a leash and not freaking out, acting like he's being murdered, yeah. um, which is his uh, which is his normal response. I would say okay. it's good he didn't freak out about that car passing yeah. by or these cars just in general. He's doing better. So come down the trail. Ah, stubborn me with no shoes. Although it doesn't hurt. Okay, so I have to fix his collar placement because I don't have control of his head. And since I don't have control of his head, I'm not going to have control over his mind and his movement. So we got that. Oh. Let me move this over here. I don't want to get too so I don't let him focus on them too much. And the reason I don't let him focus on them too much is because they are not something to be afraid of. Not a legitimate fear. Therefore, I don't really want him focusing on them because all he's really gonna do is freak himself out about it. It's not like that. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, he's so grumpy. We're gonna go that way. I'm like dressed okay, all weird and stuff. Uh, back towards the house. <laughs> boy. I have no shoes on. All right, so you want to go back over where the dogs are? What dogs? What Those dogs the... we just passed. No, not right, that way. We'll go. No, we'll go this way. No, we'll just towards go this the house. Way. Come in. Okay. I think it's a good idea. Oh gosh, I think it. Okay. Try it turned off again for a second. What? Did... No, it didn't. It's fine. I thought it did for a second. Look at that, he and sat down. Slight correction here for him trying to pull. If he keeps doing this, I'm gonna fix my collar placement. I'm trying to cover up that stuff. Unfortunately, the placement on this collar is really hard to get because this collar just kind of sucks. We already talked to the owners about about replacing it, but I haven't. Went to the got to the store to get one yet. <laughs> now I don't want to hear your back talk, please. Seriously, don't mess with me. <laughs> right. So, now I've got his head. So I can. It's actually the best I think I've seen a puppy <laughs> walking out. Like, not the best, but you know, it's yeah. a dog in training. <laughs> Oops. 
sorry, the cross beats. I'm pretty sure we can open our gate from the back if you wanted to. If of course that's what we wanted to do. Or if we this wanted to. Kind of dog that would really benefit from um, what I call like your I call it box training. Okay. Um, and it's where you basically map out a box in a square in a field and then you work that square. I can't believe there's a fish tank outside of our gate. Huh? I said I can't believe there's a fish tank outside of our gate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Doesn't look too great. Come on, oh well. Come on, Rasta. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Rasta, come, 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 come. Come on. Maybe we need to go back and see. That sun is harsh. I'm gonna make sure I don't step in another ant pile. I stepped on an ant pile on the way here. Oh, yeah? yeah, while we were fixing the thing, the giblet. <laughs> and I got bites. Oh well. <laughs> oh, did he just dunk his head in the water? He likes it. Oh, right there. That's pretty crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah, most dogs do not just go straight into the water. That's pretty clean water, too. It's straight from last night. Clean water. Yeah, it's clean water. Very clean. Hey there. Hey. Hi. You can see by his temperament how sweet and loving he is that he's not... He was scared of me at first, though, yeah, I will he, say that. He saw me through the truck window, and he was yeah, like, oh, my. he's just a super energetic. <laughs> he just grabbed a stick. Uh, playful dude. So his his behavior doesn't stem from being insecure or being sad or anything. It's it's just stubborn dominance. He's got a stick right now. No, he dropped it. Oh, he jumped it. And he dropped the stick. Preacher, really? Oh my gosh. A little wild animal over here. Preach is excited too because he's finally getting he out. He took a stick. <laughs> Such a fall look right here. Mm -hmm. You have your sweater and it's like bright colors. Oh yeah. Like, oh the trees are pretty right now. Oh. He's like I'll play with you. Yeah, Preacher's like no. Preacher taught him he said no. Nope. Watch this. He's doing what uh, Seneca does. So this, is, this is an opportunity for him to, to learn the word no. Not our, our word no, but... Dog's. The, the dog's word of no. Dog's version. Gosh, it's crazy how much he looks like Seneca. As if he could be related. He is messing with preaching. Yeah, he's, still tr he's trying to push me. He's like, I'm gonna get that stick. Oh, easy. So that was preacher telling him no for the first time. So <laughs> he no he sounds like a lion. That was no the second time. See, now you can see how stubborn this puppy is. As you can see, he's doing the same thing with Preacher. As, as I tell him no, and I've told this puppy Preacher the same just thing. ate I'll, the shit. Yeah, I'll tell him no, and then, and then the puppy will keep mess and keep playing, just like he's doing right now. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm surprised Preacher hasn't just... Yeah. Oh, there. <laughs> there you go, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> now he's going for it. Dominate him. Oh. Now he's gonna, you're right. You're right. Just don't hurt him, but you can dominate him. But now he's being taught. Oh wow. That's now he's being taught to back down. There you we know go. what I mean? That was a lesson. Just like I told you it would be. He'll learn manners and respect here, which is why I brought him here. Because it's a lot easier for my dogs to teach this dog respect 
um, than it is. <laughs> really, dude? On your feet. Than it is for this puppy, or for for us to teach this puppy. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's. Let's just say this. It's a lot. Um, it's a lot more politically correct <laughs> to let our dogs do the correction than us. Because if we do it, then people will say, oh my god, you're so mean. Oh my gosh, preacher. <laughs> She's going to fall in the water. <laughs> so, in... so preacher is scent marking over where the puppy was scent marking. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> preacher, don't you roll up. I could be. So. You see how he still thinks he can pull me away? Now he laid himself down. He's like, nope. So that's him basically saying, if I can't go the way I want to go, then I'm not going anywhere. So, bring him back. Use that as an, instead of, do you notice how instead of pulling him from a standstill, I held my pace, let him try to pull, and then when he starts moving, I will direct his behavior, his, his movement back towards me. But I will not pull him from a still, from a stop to me because then we're just going to get a bunch of dramatics. Yeah, they're going to like... He's just going to lay there and then choke and scream and act like the world is coming to an end. Better to just wait for him to move and then manipulate the movement. <laughs> Preacher's you see? like... So he's trying to dominate Preacher right there, him getting on his mo the movement. And you saw Preacher. So you see, Preacher's going to get him in a second. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Mama, did you, you see that? She's like, I so, see that dog. Yeah, he won't hurt him, but he'll definitely teach him a lesson. He knows he's a puppy. Hey there, pup. <clears throat> oh, hi. I know you're looking at me. But it's very easy to see this puppy's behavior. Um, why he why he um, is behaving the way that he's behaving. You can see that that his behavior towards Preacher is just as disrespectful as... It. Preacher, get up right now. Get <laughs> up now. You're not going to roll in the grass. Get up. It's making a mess. And sometimes he gets, he'll like, I think he's allergic to something in the grass sometimes because he'll literally break out afterwards. <clears throat> Funny boy, you can't do that. No. No. <laughs> he's so happy. Yeah, I see you, but no. Right, he was you know crying the whole entire time you were gone. What? Yeah, preacher. Are you yeah, he was just crying. Why you be dramatic? He's like, I missed you, Mom. Oh, we have another dog over here. Oh, they have one of those weird leashes that goes around the waist. Oh, no. Mm. That's not great. I only recently started seeing this. Doesn't that, like, hurt the ribs? <laughs> to prevent them from, uh... I'm gonna make him do a sit because he just tried to yank me down that hill. Hey, you need some obedience in your life. You're always sit down. angry. Shh. Quit. Behave. It's like a child in a grocery store that's never been told no. <laughs> Good chill out, boy. He doesn't understand. <laughs> no, he's looking at me like, what the heck? I can't believe this video is almost 30 minutes now. Yeah, sorry about that. Crazy, right. Bob. Well, yeah, uh, that's our first little training session with him. Just wanted to introduce him to you guys. And um, we will do a, you know, an after. We're going to keep working with him throughout the week and teaching him manners and letting him learn how to be a good dog so that he will stop giving his owners. Preacher, turn around. Double hockey sticks. Come here. Turn your butt around. I sit down. Back up. I'm going to be able to get a picture after that. So, anyway, yeah. So. We'll talk to you later, all right? Hope you're enjoying your Saturday. Bye.